This video will demonstrate the magnetic particle inspection process using dry visible powder and a handheld yoke. The type of yoke you choose, either a Y1 yoke or the Y7 yoke, will depend on the type of defects you're looking for. The Y1 yoke is an AC only yoke, which will only show surface defects. The Y7 yoke has AC and DC capability, so you can see surface and subsurface defects with that. First step in the process is the same for all processes, is to clean the ferrous part. SKCS cleaner is a suitable cleaner to use. There are other options available. The next step is to align the legs of the yoke so that they will fit over the area to be inspected. The yoke legs are bendable, flexible in any direction, as you can see, to give you a wide inspection or a very narrow inspection. In this case, I'm checking a weld. So I'm gonna place the yokes across the weld, and if you're not sure what direction your magnetic field and indication will show up, you can use a pie field indicator to show you the directions and indications that will be shown. So you want the legs, if at all possible, to be as flat as possible, and then pull the trigger to engage the magnetizing current, and spray the powder on the part. When you're done, remove the excess powder and look for the indication. After you complete the inspection of the part, you can even demagnetize the part using the yoke. It is very simple. On a Y7 yoke, you need to be switched to AC. When you switch the Y7 to AC, make sure your, the yoke is off prior to switching it from DC to AC. To do the demagnetization process, place the yoke over the part, not touching the part, energize the yoke and perform a sweeping motion across the part. Then check your residual field using a field indicator to see if it meets your spec. 